which you guys does the bloating offer better performance for your PC. This is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So what is the bloating? Well, people use the bloating for many reasons to remove telemetry and improve privacy, also improve performance, reduce hangs on your computer when you're playing games and things like that. Micro freezing, eradicate those apparently, stop stuttering, micro stuttering and things like that happening when your gameplay improve FPS by quite a considerable amount and make your PC more smoother to use when you run these particular uh, scripts and things that you find on the internet. Also, what they will do is they will modify your computer by removing features, applications that you don't want, services, and make changes to the registry and other things like that, which will help uh, reduce the uh, telemetry and other things on your computer. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today and telling you whether it's worth doing. And I'm going to give you the pros and cons on all of this after today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking to purchase a cheap Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you create an account on there, use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done this, you can use PayPal. And then once you get your key sent to you, you can then head over to the Windows Center and use this to remove that annoying watermark that you may find on your computer. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, de-bloating windows or optimizing or even added, adding more performance to your PC. Can it actually do that? And that's what we're talking about today. Now, what I read in the comments section of my video sometimes is you're such a hypocrite. One minute you're saying don't use these scripts and then you're making videos showing how to use them and how to do them. I never tell people to do anything. These are what we call tutorials. I make tutorials on my channel on how to do things. So if you want to go and uh, de-bloat your version of Windows, I'll make videos to show you how to do it. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm saying to you that it's going to basically make your PC faster. I make all types of content and some of it I don't agree with and some of it I do. I normally uh, make a mention of I don't particularly do this to my computer, but I know a lot of people do like to de-bloat Windows. So is there a point of de-bloating Windows? In all my experience, I've not seen a point in de-bloating Windows when you're using a modern day computer with a modern day graphics card. Say, for instance, you've got an RTX, uh, you know, 20 series, 30 series or 40 series uh, type RTX graphics card. You're not going to need to de-bloat Windows to get even more FPS because you're going to be uh, blessed with FPS with those types of, uh, you know, graphics cards. If you're using an old potato system, what I would call a really old computer, maybe one of those uh, Dell Optiplex first and second and third gens, or maybe you've got some really old system and you're trying to play games, the modern day games of today, and maybe you've dropped in a graphics card because you've watched one of those YouTube videos showing you how to do it, and now you're suffering from bottlenecks or micro stutters and freezing and hanging and things like that. This is because the system is really old and you're trying to push it above its means and what it was meant to do in the first place. So trying to squeeze every ounce of, uh, you know, FPS out of it by using these scripts can sometimes remove a lot of the background applications running and things like that, and also free up a bit of system resources, which does alleviate a lot of that. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing to do or the answer to your problem. A lot of modern day systems don't use hard drives. They're using SSD or SSD NVMe drives and they're using really high end CPUs and they've got a, a RAM in abundance because RAM is very cheap today. Many years ago, RAM was quite expensive and we had a lot less RAM to play with. Today, most people have got, you know, 16, 32 gigabytes of RAM and even 64 gigabytes of RAM in their modern day systems. And again, you're not going to squeeze much more out of that system by using any of these tools that you see on the screen right here. Now, it's not to say that these tools are useless to everyone, because if you're an enthusiast and you love tweaking Windows, then these sort of tools are going to be ideal for you because that's what they're designed for, people that love to tinker and tweak Windows to the maximum. Again, but I see them all the time coming on my Discord server asking to fix their Windows because it's broken and they've got things missing or there's been locked out of something because there's been changes made. And this is the problem with these particular tools. Yes, they do offer an undo section, but most people can't remember what they've changed and what they've done. And now they're asking for technical support to remove it and fix it. And unfortunately, 
uh, they've made so many tweaks and changes to that operating system, it's just going to be easier to reinstall Windows, which is something people want to avoid. So if you're one of these people that are forced to use a really old system and you're trying to play 1080p games and you've got one of them old uh, first and second gen or third gen CPUs from uh, them Dell Optiplexes and you're trying to put in, say, a 2070 in there with a new power supply and you're trying to play games on that old system, you're going to end up with major micro stutters, stuttering, uh, f uh, you know, frame drops and things like that and even uh, major hangs on the screen because you're bottlenecking the system because you're putting a modern day graphics card in an old uh, system. So you're always going to have issues. Now, debloating those systems can alleviate some of the problems, but it's not going to fix it and it's not going to go away. So you need to look at what hardware you've got and move to the future and buy something a little bit more modern. And a lot of those problems will go away and you won't be having to use uh, debloat scripts like these to actually try to get some sort of performance boost out of the system. And I can tell you right now, I've tried every single script out there and I've tried gaming on them and there is not much difference. After you debloat, the results are so negligible that it seems that debloating really wasn't worth doing in the first place. So this is what you have to ask yourself. And there's more ways of doing this nowadays. There's this modern AME wizard thing that you can use now to debloat Windows and make it super lightweight. And if you go on YouTube and look for PC optimization or speed up your PC or any of this stuff, 400% faster or anything like that, you'll see tons of videos always making uh, content like this because they get high click rates on these videos. But a lot of it is misleading and it doesn't really make a lot of difference to your PC. Again, all it's going to do at the end of the day is reduce a bunch of settings, which you can do yourself without any sort of software. And again, you can also create your own uh, custom ISOs as well, which I've shown you how to do over the years, where you can create uh, sort of custom ISOs with NT Lite, where you can take out components and things like that. But again, you are using a super lightweight version of Windows like Tiny 11 or the other ones you can see out there. There's tons of them and people are making them all the time and they think it's something new and it's been around for a very long time. You can use versions from Microsoft called LTSE and they've even bringing out a version for Windows 11 as well, which will have sort of a debloated effect to it. Uh, and that comes out very soon. Now, there is particular YouTube channels that I've seen making the same content over and over and over again. And they obviously get lots of views from it because people are just sucked in and they actually believe a lot of this stuff actually makes a major difference. And this person probably never does any of this to his computer at all because he's got a pretty decent system and he probably does none of it. Because at the end of the day, all of this stuff that you're doing to your computer is mainly for gamers, I would say, or people that have got privacy concerns and they want to remove the telemetry which is one of the main reasons why a lot of people do it. But you can actually do a lot of this without any of this sort of stuff, without breaking windows using group policy. But what I will say is if you are using this sort of software or scripts, don't expect to see, you know, lightning performance changes to your PC once you run it. Yes, people show the processes as dropped right here, but I guarantee you as soon as you start opening up applications and installing programs and games and things like that, this will all start climbing. And again, you have removed a lot of the key components. Uh, but again, some of the things that you might remove, like the uh, Microsoft Store and the things like that, these are all attached to certain things that you might want to play, like games and other stuff. Uh, Xbox in there, if you mess around with that, it can cause problems and other things that might be essential for Windows to function properly. If you remove those, you can end up with a lot of problems. Now, I've made ISOs myself and uh, tested them, and they work really well on a system that's really old again it makes it super lightweight but is it worth doing in the long run soon as you do a major feature update you're going to run into problems and this is where the problems lie microsoft own this operating system and they will continue to push out updates and feature updates to your computer and this is why most of these people will disable their updates and have it set to manual where you update when you want to as soon as you update it's going to make major changes to your computer and it will change all this and it can brick uh, the update process uh, during the update process i've seen it actually break the operating system and you have to do a fresh install now what i will say to people is the some of the stuff i've seen people doing online and they're showing the results what they're showing is a gameplay and they're going into different parts of the map where there's different things going on and they're trying to get a calculation 
from those measurements and this is not accurate. What you need to do is a benchmark with benchmark software that does the same sequence of tests over and over again and you can run those benchmarks and I guarantee you, you will not see much difference between uh, one or the other when you've uh, either de-bloated it or using the stock Windows version and I've not seen much difference. It's hardly worth, you know, going through all the process of tweaking like that. You may as well upgrade all your hardware and get a better performing computer rather than going through all of this process of, you know, trying to squeeze every inch out of your system. And it's so negligible, it's just not worth it. So in my honest opinion, I just don't think it's worth doing. But again, I will continue to make videos on debloating and on how to do things because you guys request it. And I will make videos on it for you, but it doesn't necessarily mean I do it for my systems or for clients that I'm installing Windows on. I'm not going to do it. Now, if you've been into computers as long as me, you might have seen an improvement on tweaking before solid state drives were around, which was quite a while ago. But after they started coming out, it made it all a bit obsolete and it's not really worth doing and it's not worth the headache in my personal opinion. Either upgrade your hardware uh, or buy a newer computer. Simple as that. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support. Now, if you did join my YouTube members group or you did join my Discord server expecting to get the correct role, and I haven't done that, that's because I've been away on holiday. And uh, I'm now going to be uh, updating this list as you can see it today. And also, I'll be adding the correct roles to the Discord. So thanks again for your patience. I shall catch you in the very next video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Get better at the game and enjoy the game for what it is rather than wasting your time on a lot of these uh, fine tunings because they're not going to do you any good and uh, get better at the game. That's my personal opinion. Anyway, catch you in the next one.